Okay, so we're going to take a look at these um, these solar powered lights uh, by MPOW. Although I don't notice anything to do with MPOW on the box, so I'm going to check that out and uh, see what the deal is there. Um, so these are 140 LEDs inside here, uh, inside each unit, and this is a box of four. So they fit four in here. As you can kind of tell, they're probably not that big. Um, but I got these for about £21 on Amazon. So watch out for them coming onto a deal. And let's have a look inside. So you've got the fixings for the wall and then the lights are arranged in there. And I have to admit, I've taken a couple of out, a couple out and I've uh, popped them up on a wall to see how they perform. So let's take one of these out that I haven't taken out before. Now, can have a good look at the unit here. So you've got that solar panel on the top, motion sensor on the front, and then you've kind of got these uh, this lensing at the uh, the front plastic here, and you can just see all the LEDs down inside there. If you peek through the side, turning around to the back, you've got just the power button on there. So you click it once to well, it's on, on uh, it's turned off at the moment. But if you click it once, it'll flash once and they come with enough power in the unit to at least do this. Interesting. Press it again and it should flash twice, indicating it's in mode two. And click it again and it should go into mode three. So three flashes, mode three, click it again and it turns it off completely. So mode one is where the unit will be completely off until it detects motion and then it goes to full brightness. Mode two is a slightly sort of dim light um, and then as soon as motion is detected it will go up to full brightness for 30 seconds and then back down to that dimmer light. And then mode three is a constant uh, bright, uh, brightness. It says normal so it's not like really low and it's not really high. Um, but that'll just do a constant light output and doesn't do any motion detection. So you can test it out by just covering the top panel like that and it will come on. And that's showing your mode three, that brightness. And then if I switch it to, that's off. Now we're on mode one. Now we're in mode two. So this is the, going to be the dim one when it's not detected motion, but it's dark enough. So that's going up to full high brightness now. And I've got the exposure locked on the camera, so that's why it's blowing it out. But you can kind of see a bit of the difference between the light levels. And now it'll stay that, like that for 30 seconds. And then it'll dim down to the lower setting. See if I can get it to do that. There we go. It slowly fades down to the dim setting, which is just enough. Ah, it's detected movement again. It's just enough to see your path, um, or maybe putting a key in the door, um, and obviously it doesn't drain the batteries too much. Now batteries is, uh, and how long these last is a big thing. Um, so I live in the UK, so uh, it's not exactly sunny all the time. Um, so I'm going to see how these get on. I've got a couple of positions that I want to try them in. Uh, one in the back garden, which is uh, north facing, so it doesn't receive direct sunlight. Uh, I'm going to see how those get on. And I've got uh, the front of the house is south facing, so we will get direct sunlight on there. And uh, it's springtime at the moment, but I want to run these all year and in different positions on the walls. Uh, or even one down the side of the house uh, to see how that gets on uh, and I'll report back probably in another video um, but I'll, I'll show you how these look in the dark um, and how much uh, brightness you're going to get uh, and hopefully they'll give you some idea of how these look. Uh, they're kind of smallish, uh, I'll put the dimensions on screen, uh, very light uh, and there's no replaceable parts, so you can't get in there and get a battery out. But they're quite neat, single screw hole. 
The only problem is if you want to change the mode, you're going to have to unscrew that from the wall um, and then change it using the button. But these are weatherproofed, so you shouldn't get any problems with water getting in. Overall, pretty good for the price, uh, quite bright. So I'll see how we get on and I'll report back probably in another video and I'll pop some uh, notes in the comments and in the video description as we uh, start to use these. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.